When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. Do you think so will be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. You look busy. My studies are a good distraction, especially after Cult and Gemini. Varl, Beta, 
Gaia? Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Arend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Katalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted, not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. It's all going to be okay. We can't give up now. Was there something else you needed? Tilda's the one who rescued me. Same one that spoke to Beta when none of the others would. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. I have to go now. May the ancestors guide you.
it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now and always. So Silent's plan was to trick Regala into sacrificing her tribe in a hopeless battle against the Zenus. It's so... heartless. Ikaro, Dekka, Katalo, countless others. I won't let their lives be thrown away. Focus. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. Varl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away. I failed Varl at Gemini. I should have pushed harder, I should have done more. I'm glad I could help Zoe fix the land gods. She never gave up on them. And because of her, Plain Song's fields will bloom again. Unlocked now. The guy had gone. Made his things. Hey, boy. If you were listening to this, then, um, Things didn't go as planned at Gemini. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But uh, what's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber? 
Thank you, Emily. You've been my shelter. And I would risk it all again to be by your side. I know you'll find a way forward. That's what you do. So, yeah, I told the rest of the team. I was standing in the cafeteria, trying to pick out a god-awful meal cartridge when it suddenly hit me. Every school field trip, August always asked me to pack extra in his lunch pack so that he could share it with his friends. I, I don't know how I was lucky enough to end up with kids so generous. And I know... He'd want to share this, too. So, to uh, whoever finds this place, this was us.
The last time I spoke to Leanna, they were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. That Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Their name was Leanna Jensen. 9th Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Do, do I see it now? Okay. My name is Emma Irving, and I'm eight years old. And my favorite animal is a fox. Do you have foxes in the future? I hope so. They're the cutest. And super smart. Dad said we have to go underground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is H and G. Hi and goodbye. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby, a vert swooped in and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end and given a choice. Die now or help Zero Dawn and die later. At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle-raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? Got to be honest, I don't really know what to say to the future. So I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this, but I wanted to say thank you. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The future will always be brighter for it. I'm trying to live up to your example. I love you. We'll be together again soon. Over here, Aloy.
We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. As new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. I'd seen metal bound to flesh in that way. Yeah, he seems happy with it. Probably because he could crush me like a grape with it. That is a happy thought.
Just you wait, Varl. We're taking those space lugs down. Think you can manage things here while I go help Akaro? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths? Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. I know we both want to make the Zenas pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakhth. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Well, let's hope we hit our targets. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. I'm, uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. I cleaned it already. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Don't mention it. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain.
careful not to let this stain my hands. Good. There are sunwings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Head rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it.
There's a tarmac. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Made it. Just got to override it. Okay, Tilda. I've overridden the Tallneck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Amoris. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Pulls from the Tarmac should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from the horse I fly to. Be useful, even after I deal with Regala. Inside, Hakara will soon be dead. It's all over, Chaplain. I got 
gotta drop it now. Here it goes. and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. 
She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about... will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, and the mountain's new plane song. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. <laughs> he surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board, so head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. 
Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. <laughs>